how to create printable wall art in Canva, simple and easy. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will show you how you can easily create your own printable wall art using Canva. So this video is perfect if you don't have any graphic design skills or you don't know Photoshop. And by the way, Canva is a free software that you can use for your graphic design. So without further ado, let me show you how you can easily do it. So first thing first, go to canva.com and just log into your account. If you don't have an account yet, then just provide your email and create your own password. Or you can just make use of your Gmail to log in here in Canva. So once you log in, this is your home page. And over here to start with, you need to identify or think about the size of the printable files that you want to create here in Canva. So I will just go ahead and go here, create a design as you can see here on your upper right corner. Here you can enter your custom size or you can also choose a layout from here. You just need to search for a different layout that you like. But for now, let's go ahead and select the custom size. So you just need to enter the width and the height. And also here you have your pixel and inches. So since we will be creating a printable file, so for printing, it is advisable to make use of inches for our customer to get this high quality uh, printable files. So here I will just go ahead and enter 8 for the width and the height will be 10. So 8 by 10 inches. I will go ahead and click on create new design and with this it will redirect me to this new page and here is my blank canva where I can start creating my own design. And by the way guys, here on your left side, you can also see different templates here that you can make use of to start your design if you like to. But for now, let's go ahead and start from scratch. So here you have your elements where you can also search for different elements here that you can easily drag and drop to your design. So you can just search here from the search bar different uh, elements that you like to add in your graphic design and also you have your uploads here where you can upload your own images and what I like about this platform is that you can also upload videos and audio here because this software can also be used as your video editor and this software is for free. Also, you have your text here to add your text and you can choose a different font style that available here inside Canva for free. So here, let's go ahead and start our designs. I will go ahead and go to elements and I will search here for a uh, cute bear. And here you also have option to select graphics so that you will get all the graphic results. So here is the result, guys, and these are the elements that you can easily drag and drop to your design. But let me go ahead and delete that one. And this one with crown, it means that these are the elements that only available to premium plan since they also have a premium plan here. But it's not necessary for you to do that. You can be resourceful instead. So what I do here is that sometimes I go to Google and then I just search for the cute bear cartoon. And then I will just go to images for me to get images result and then I just go to tools and go to the color so you have the selection here to choose any color black and white and transparent and I will just go ahead and select transparent for me to get the result of images with transparent background something like this so to make sure that this is a transparent you just need to right click and then go to open image in new tab and you need to make sure that it will show up like this. So those square thing will not be showing up, be showing up because if it will show up here when you view the image in a new tab, then it means that that is not a transparent photo. So, so here we have the perfect transparent photo of the cute bear, as you can see. So let me just go ahead and download this one. All right, so I already downloaded the file. So let me just go back to Canva and here I will just go to upload and I will upload the file here. All right, so I have my file here. So let me just drag and drop this one over here. So we have now our cute bear. 
I will just go ahead and resize it and I will just moving it here. It will depend on you guys how you will design your printable. So I will just go ahead and move it here and then I will just go ahead and search for floral here. All right, so I have now the graphic result here for floral. So let's just go ahead and look for good floral here that we can make use of. So let me just make use of this one here. Let me just drag and drop it here. All right, let me just go ahead and resize it. Let me try to move it backward. All right, so maybe something like that. That is so cute. And then here we can add our text. So you can add some quotes here. It can be motivational or inspiring quotes. So you just need to go to Google and search for good quotes that you can make use of in your design. So let me just go ahead and add some text here. So let me just move it here. I will just type my text here something like that and then over here you can change the font style of your text so let's say this one all right so that is good let me go ahead and also highlight this one and let's change this let's make use of different font style just to have two different font style in our text so i guess that looks better so this is a simple uh, printable, guys, that I will be showing to you. But if you want to have amazing uh, printable, then you can also create that one. You just need to be creative and then you can make use of Google or Pinterest for you to look for ideas for your design. That is what I usually do. And then once you are done with your design, you can easily go to share and over here you can download this file and if you will be creating a design for printables then it's better that you will be choosing pdf standard or the pdf print because this file types is perfect for printable art because the quality is so good compared to png and jpeg png and jpeg are good if you will be creating design that is only for digital and not for print so let me just go ahead and download this one as PDF print. So here's the download now. All right, and we successfully downloaded the file as PDF. We will be also downloading the JPEG or PNG file for our marketing. We will be doing a mock-up for us to market our design or to showcase our customer if what will be our design look like for real or in reality. So I will go ahead and choose PNG here and I will just go ahead and download this file. All right, so we have our file here. So let me just go ahead and add it here inside our Canva. So I will just go ahead and resize it. So let me just go ahead and upload the design that we just created, the PNG file. All right, so here it is. So let me just go ahead and click on this. I will just go ahead and replace it over here just to fit the frame. All right, so I guess that's good. So that's how we can make our mock-up here also inside the Canva. So I guess that's all for today's video and I hope that you learned something today. If you have any question, don't hesitate to comment down below and thank you so much for watching.